everyone, it's David here. I'm just going to do a quick, simple tutorial video on how to edit a photo. Um, kind of mostly doing color correction and bringing a photo back to life um, in Lightroom. I always use Lightroom for anything that I'm actually really doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the photo that we're going to be using. This photo um, is what I just did in Photoshop. Now I'm going to show you how to do it in Lightroom. I personally like using Lightroom because it's a, I, I like the definition of what Lightroom really is. It's what you used to do with photography to develop your photos, and Lightroom definitely helps you develop your photos. Okay, so the original photo that I was wanting to do was not working, and it was frustrating me. So now, I'm actually going to use this photo of Mitch. Kind of a little dark, a little grainy, doesn't matter. We're going to color correct this, and we're going to bring it back to life. So, I always drag, and I drop them in Lightroom. You can right-click, open them in Lightroom. Um, do whatever it's going to work best for you. I've already got it selected, so I'm just going to click import. Alright, so now I've got the file that I want imported into Lightroom. If you go over to your development tool right up here, this is where you're going to develop the photo. As you can see, it's kind of pink. He's got some purple kind of going on with his facial expression there. The darks are also very, very strong here. We're going to need to fix those. So the first thing that you can always do is um, sometimes you get lucky and if you use your little eyedropper tool this is going to actually reset your white balance so let's find actually let me click over here if you look over up here now it's going to show you what color it's going to look like if you were to select that color so I'm actually going to pick this color here and see what it does okay so now it kind of made it a little bit more bluish um, everything's a little bit more blue it also brought the color temperature down if you command Z, that will undo what you just did. All right. So from here, I'm going to see what if happens if I bring this down. Okay. So I brought that down just a little bit to kind of get rid of some of that really harsh purple that we just had, or pinks kind of going on in the photo. Now let's bring the exposure up. Can I get Mitch a little bit more highlighted? Okay and I'm hitting up and down on my mouse pad there to help kind of bring these up by increments you can drag and click and move around do whatever makes make whatever do whatever works best for you this now we're gonna bring up the blacks bring it up real high everything kind of is now more bright and everything and over on the histogram up top you notice how that that white mark went away I usually will bring it just shadows I'm gonna bring it up just so that way it's no longer there so now we've got a much more lit up better photo of um, our subject here or Mitch now what I'm gonna do is go down to our SNL section here this is where you're gonna be able to do a little bit more color correction Mitch is still kinda got a little bit of this reddish effect going on so let's bring our reds down notice how it kinda starts to play around with his face we're gonna bring it down just a little orange same thing kinda messes with that a little bit too bring that down just a smidge there now our blues blues kinda you can see plays with the lighting there I'm gonna bring them up just a hair now luminance. now luminance is going to play with the light. So I want his face to be a little bit more brighter. And the same thing with that. Now if you go back here, we should be able to bring that up. I'm just going to leave it right there. I think his face has kind of got a little bit where the light's going on it, and his hand's in a solid color now. Pretty good there. And our histogram's fine. Now we're going to go down to detail. This is where you're going to play with your sharpening and your noise reduction. This is a very zoomed in section, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in kind of closer up to his face. Notice how in the photo it's got a lot of noise, a lot of grain going on. Noise reduction is going to reduce that. Bring it up to about 70 there. There he goes. Got rid of all that noise practically but now we've lost a little definition of what's going on there perfectly fine you can always um, bring the sharpness up 
It's going to help bring some of that back a little bit. But we're not going to do so much. We want a little noise in there. Maybe. All right. So if you click again, it's going to need to zoom out of the photo. All right. So now we have a very smooth photo of Mitch. I'm going to, I want so much noise reduction. I'm going to do about kind of 40 there. Still have a little bit noise in there, but more, much more smooth photo of Mitch kind of going on here. Now what I always like to do is highlight properties or effects. This is what kind of gives you the edge look. All right. I like to bring it down just a little here. And now our histogram is starting to get met, sad at us. Now it's got that green effect there. But if we go back up, we can always bring our blacks back to a safer level. There we go. Perfectly fine. Now it's kind of dark around him. He's kind of got it where it's that beam of light strictly on him. You're kind of being taken, you're not being so much taken away from the stuff that's going on in the background. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop this photo. If you hit shift, and drag keeps the perfect aspect ratio. I'm going to kind of bring a little bit more onto Mitch there. And maybe bring this up just a little. All right. Click done. All right. Now we have a perfect solid photo of Mitch. He's the only thing that's going on there. You can see some of the things going around in the background. But you know he's talking and he is declaring God to us. So from the original photo, if I click on this... Here's our before, here's our after. If you keep clicking on this, shows you think what different viewpoints of your before and after photo. If we click back on that one, brings it back to the original. Okay, so right now I think this photo is um, fine, um, much more better color corrected. Um, it's not so bright um, pink that we had before. Um, I could definitely use this up on the Facebook page. If you have any questions, please grab me. Um, I'm always happy to answer anything questions that you have with editing. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Every day.